I'm going to talk about this because everyone wants to talk about this. So at the top, we try to solve the problem with BEE. At the bottom, we try to solve it with unsecured lending. Whose fault? There are now commissions of inquiries to find the guilty parties. But actually, this thing we're going to look back at as a, as a, a fantastic wake-up call. Because we were all living the dream, man. It couldn't work. The maths doesn't add up. Okay? The, the Saab stepped in and uh, did a deal with the creditors, that 10% shaving of their thing. It was just a commercial deal. It was quite simple. Do you guys want to take a 10% haircut? No. Do you want us to walk away? No. We'll take a 10% haircut. Okay? <laughs> but this thing had nothing to do extraordinarily with rescuing creditors or depositors. What it had to do, in my, this is my opinion, what it had to do with was rescuing debt debtors, rescuing people who relied on the supply of credit to buy food. So the Reserve Bank didn't rescue the money on deposit, it rescued the money on loan. Okay? Why did it have to do that in its wisdom? Well, quite simply, Abel had about 3 million over-indebted individuals for whom if the supply of credit stopped today, in three weeks' time, would not be able to buy bread. Okay? They each support another three, and then if you add to that 10 million people, another 10 million people who on social grants, spend 400 billion rand a year on social grants, if, if those people there couldn't lend to these people here, it would take about three weeks before we didn't have a financial crisis, but we had a social crisis. 20 million, which is 40% of the population, rely on either a gift from the government or a loan that they can't afford to repay. Micro-lending is fine for a short period of time. If you need a thousand rand now because you've got an oopsie that you've got to finance, you can borrow it for a week at 100%, you can pay it back. But you can't borrow it for a year because there's no asset out there that could give you yield enough to service the loan. It's like basic arithmetic. Okay. So how do we solve this? When we reflect on what happened at ABLE, I, as I said, it's going to turn into one of the biggest opportunities because it's going to force us to actually solve it. There is no way out of unsecured lending without government coming to the party. Okay. You cannot expect private capital to venture where state capital fears to tread. It's that simple. So government's going to have to, and the banks, you know, the banks sit back gloriously. All the big five and all the other banks, which Moody's in their infinite stupidity chose to downgrade, downgrade but they all sit back and go, ooh, no, we don't do that stuff. Well, the Reserve Bank phoned them as well, actually, and said, hi. We were just thinking, maybe you guys can have a billion of this stuff. And they're going, no, no, no. Uh, let me say it again. I'm sure this is what happened. <laughs> I was thinking, maybe you guys should have a billion of this stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah, we'll take the stuff. Okay. They don't want it. They don't want to touch it. Okay. Well, everyone goes, yeah, of course not. But that has been part of the problem. By definition, and this is why I think Moody's downgrading the banks was ridiculous, because by definition, the banks aren't banking the unbanked, so they didn't have the risk on their balance sheet, other than that bit of stuff that was left, given to them by the Reserve Bank. So if the government can, I will talk right at the end at a, at about a solution to this, which has got support at the highest political level in the country. This is not a debate I started yesterday. Uh, it's something that we all need to become involved in. Obviously... We need skills and we need leadership and we need an independent board. And everyone's going, yeah, this board was useless, man. Leon Kirkin has fooled them all. And the Reserve Bank were there for 18 months, okay? Uh, we must be careful not to, to dance on the graves of the misfortunate, you know? I mean, this, in my view, all that Abel was, was an uncontrolled enthusiasm which may be bordered on recklessness, but it was so obvious, it was so easy, and all of the guys who are standing there saying, I would never have touched that, were deep in it. 